Now, before that, though, how was your weekend, ladies? Did you have a good one? I did. Nolene and Colleen? Um, Nolene. <laughs> you can call me Nolene. Um, that's like Colin Nolan that it I is. got called last yeah. week. Um, I had a very, very... The, one of the best weekends I've ever had. Um, and you'll have to watch Dancing on Ice Friday next Friday Ooh, to geez. see why. Can we give just clue? had... Well, there's ice involved. Yes. And um, <laughs> there's a certain song... Very famous skating song involved. And Ben Shepherd, even better. Yeah. Um, Is yes. it in Lycra? It might be. Ooh. And I'm very, very, very stiff today. My legs are hurting. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So you've been skating then? <laughs> no, that was nothing to do with the skating, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Me and Ben were like that. So we shall watch with interest Friday night yeah, then. Great. She's, not, she's obviously so not going to tell us, I are can't, you? because it's just too funny. Oh, well, I had, a, I had a few, you know, I had a kind of whole week of birthday celebrations and then on, um, on Friday night, my lovely Eamon had organised a surprise dinner with all my girlfriends from school and, and they'd all been lying to me, they've all been lying to me for weeks, so we were all trying to get together and they kept saying, oh, I can't make that weekend and I can't do this and eventually I thought, oh, well, that's not going to happen and it was supposed to just be three of us getting together on Saturday night and um, Eamon said, I'm just taking you out for dinner on Friday and I was a bit like, oh, I hate going out Friday night, I'm always really tired. So I was kind of dragging my heels a bit, got to the restaurant, and, um, and he said, oh, I think our table's over there, and it's pointing, and I thought, that looks like my friend Jenny over there from school, and that looks like Julie. Oh, my God, it is Jenny Aww. and Julie. Yeah, and he'd organised the whole thing, a cake. I had no idea. People? About 15. Oh. And I had Did not... Did and Damon? No, he left. Oh, he what? left. <laughs> Even better. He didn't stay. No, well, you know what it's like as well? Results. When it's old school friends and very old friends, you do all that. Oh, do you remember that day in double maths when you did, you know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> for everybody else. So, yeah, so he, he kind of, he paid, which was good. He left his credit card. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, that's it was my kind of man. I like him. It was excuse. Yeah. Yeah, it was very well, nice. I had a nice weekend. There was lots of ice involved in mine, but it was mostly in the vodka. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we had our friends, uh, the Duffies, down from, um, from Newcastle. So Louis, who normally has quite a posh little accent, suddenly becomes a Geordie all of a sudden. Say, <laughs> Louis, go and get your pyjamas off. Ah, divin now with oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just because Owen and Bradley are there. <laughs> but, um, so we had quite a... Tim um, compared for sport relief. He did a um, football match between Waterloo Road and Corrie and Emmerdale and, and, and Holly Oaks and things. And I did a fashion show. And uh, for Christie's and Louis. Did what? Louis what, well, I no, I didn't model. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of fashion was it? I, um, thank you, Colleen. I, uh, no, I compared the fashion show, which was which was lovely in aid of um, Christie's, and uh, Louis, Louis did the modelling. And it was, I was so proud of him because he's obsessed with Michael Jackson at the moment and had a little Michael Jackson party the other week. And so they asked him to do this little bit, so he sort of walked up at the end and took his jacket off, did his little body popping and everything. Aww. And there was all these little girls around the front, the ones who's already been on. And suddenly Lou was going, oh, high-fiving all the kids, <laughs> like he was in boy zone. Oh. Oh. So I, I didn't Look do it. Oh, there he is! Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. He's doing that crutchy thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's what Michael Jackson Bless did. Uh, well, I, I didn't... I worked all weekend, but Mark left me, because every time I have to do loads of work, he just clears off Is up that because you're horrible when you're working? No, I'm, no, I'm just boring. <laughs> I don't go out, I don't do anything. But the best thing about it is, right, is now he's not watching now because he's on the train. It's great when he goes away because it means I can eat, like, things that you can't eat when you've got to sleep with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> well, like garlic. No, pilchards. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I love pilchers, I love sardines, I love all that really stinky fish. And it stinks so bad. Most of the time you can't even recycle the can, it stinks that bad. Did but you have an instant mash? I did. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's gone, right, instant mash. Pilchered, sardines, a few peas. <laughs> you know how to live, Carol McGiffin, don't you? Crack open gone. a tin of pilchers and she's happy. <laughs> now then, can I tell you, that there is some good news, actually, because it might be months away, but forecasters are already predicting that this summer will be the hottest on record. Yet, yeah, I know, see, you don't <laughs> believe it. You know it won't happen. Uh, some are suggesting that temperatures might even smash those of that hot summer of 76. Do you remember that? Mm. And with summer in mind, Gordon Brown revealed in an interview this weekend how, as a child, he spent most summer holidays on a farm. So it sounds as though his school holidays were all a bit repetitive. So what about your childhood holidays? What were they like? Were they the same every year? Or? Well, they were, actually, because we didn't go away. So we were just at home, so we were just out all the time, always out. And, 
you know, I hate it when people start trying to predict the weather. It never happens, mm. and everyone mm. groans, go, oh, yeah, yeah, we go again. Um, so it probably won't. But, you know, there is this kind of idea that when we were little, it was much, much hotter every summer. I don't think it was. I just think that you remember I the hot days. As a kid you don't much. notice so yeah. much, but you just, re you just remember, you know, lovely hot days much, much more than you do when you're sitting inside bored and freezing cold. Mm. So I, I do think it was quite warm, but I, the, the one thing I do remember is we always used to, because we didn't have a car or anything, we were little and no one we knew had a car, if we wanted to go to the seaside, one, a couple of times we tried to walk there. <laughs> we, tried to, we tried to walk from Maidstone to Sheerness, which is <laughs> at least a couple of times. It's a really long way. Did you ever make it? No, no, we didn't. No, but the one time I remember that the, um, we nearly dehydrated and almost passed out and got picked up on the way back by a, a sympathetic lorry driver. So you tried to walk without water. <laughs> we were like that, ice yeah. cold and Alex on the roadside. <laughs> like, oh, oh. But on the way back, he dropped us off at this farm. We went into this farm. We found this big barn with loads of hay in it, and we just, it was like, I don't know, about 30 feet high. And we all got on top of this thing and dared each other to jump off into a little hay bale that we didn't know how deep it was. So we could have all broken our legs on the way back, and the farmer found us and sent the geese in and sent us out. We've been chased by geese around the farm. <laughs> Much more exciting than going to the seaside. Oh, she well, ran, then I she ran home for a tin of pilchards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was lucky because, of course, I grew up at the seaside in Blackpool, yeah. so we were always on a summer's day, we were at the beach or walking along the prom, and... My memories of summer at the park with my family playing rounders because there's like 25,000 of us in our family. <laughs> Two teams. So we, we didn't yeah, even yeah. need to get outsiders in. We just had a, our own made-up team. But it was great. And like you say, I never worried about the weather. I think mm. when you're younger and it's school holidays, yeah. so you've got those six weeks off, it doesn't matter what the weather's like, you're outside you're the whole time. You're just happy to be off school. Yeah, yeah, and you don't want to be indoors. It is a bit depressing that we keep going on about the summer of 76 because we're in 2010. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just ridiculous. Four years ago. But my, yeah, my, and my memories, although we did go abroad, but we always went on ferries and stuff, we didn't fly then. But uh, I remember all the holidays of ours being in England, and it was always in the car, in the hot car. And Mum always had to stop at um, the shop at the end of the road and get, like, a family pack of beechnut chewing gum. She always had to have this family pack. <laughs> what is beechnut? Oh, yeah, it was, it was, it was yeah, in the like green, yellow, green and yeah, yellow like little green square packets. Sort of but she, never, she always had to have the sort of the full, um, the full thing. Yeah, it was like yeah. a, a, a brand, but I don't think they make it anymore. Debbie and I always mm. in the back. And, uh, and it was, because I hate anything digital and technical, but... When you used to have the car radio with just like the, the red line that went up like that, just always having that where it would go. <laughs> and my dad, who never sang anything, he just used to go. <laughs> There's always strangers in the night. And then, and then mum going to Debbie and I, do you two feel sick? No, have a quell. Just to drug us. It was purely just to drug us, I'm sure. So we always slept. Do you know, Sally, I remember the summer of 76, so I was doing my O levels, and that's mm. why I claim I failed most of them, because I was out some in all that hot weather. Well, they say it's going to be really hot this August, so um, we will see. Time yeah, will tell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've got to take a